Once more, once more. In. No, no, look where you are. You end up. You want to go the other way? Yeah. And out.
do if you start? How do, how do you make it less tight? <laughs> By developing the muscle. If you don't play it, it's not going to develop. You keep the fingers down? Yes, you do, of course. You can. Just oh, the third. Just the third? Just yeah. the third. Or oh, without it? Or oh, without it, it's fine too. Now down. Start always with two, right? Da da dee dum, tee da, coming down. And down again, that's right. That's fine. It's the bow, it's not the finger that's going to make this sound. Four, 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 four. From one? Yeah, yeah okay, I, have it. I, I have it in my room. I just...
on the funeral you needed it. It was a thick strings. Even more. You had band. Ah, they had flex it. Flex it. Well, that's right. At, at, the, at the corner of that thumb. Right. There you go. You go up and down. You do that. Just with the thumb and the fingers.
and making the music. What? How do you create a sfotsanga? By just feeling it? How do you create a crescendo? By just feeling it? I don't think so. You can't. There's no way. If you had one side, yeah. Okay, so how do we do those things? That's really the question. What happens after that's where we get mixed up? What happens with the music and the ability to make music, it really has to do with the fundamental of how you approach the instrument. You personally approach the instrument. After you have some kind of reference to the nuts and bolts of how you put the damn thing together. It's not enough to know, yeah, that's Schubert, it's a four-part phrase. That's great. There's nothing nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you walk into the museum, that's a Brock, and that's a Picasso. But how did they do that? How did they get that line in there? That's important. Because it didn't just go and make a face. He worked the fundamentals for years before he found his syntax. Right? That's what you're looking for. That's what you've come here. So that's all it means. It means that fundamental. And there's about 500,000 things in making that speak right. What you see, or one sees, is the end result right, of many years of combustion. <laughs> but it's a fundamental. I mean, I mean, there's millions of things you can do with that bow to make that work. You can start up bow. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to do that. Do you want to do that? I don't know. It's up to you. But you've got a car that can do anything you want. Okay, you're the driver. You are in charge of your own destiny. Not Arnold's brain or Mr. Man's brain or anybody else's. Okay, it's your feeling. But it has to come from a real feeling of the arm working properly so you can express yourself totally freely without being nervous. Because then you really know what you're doing. The only reason you get nervous is because you don't know enough. I don't mean you, I mean plural. If you know, there's no reason to get nervous. There will be apprehension. There will be some vulnerability. Thank God. Okay? Those are very important words, this terminology. But it's not nerves. It's proper adrenaline flowing to make you feel less vulnerable. Ah, here we go, Shubha Rappetyoni. That's wonderful. Why is that scary? It shouldn't be scary at all. That should be just ah, a freedom of expression. But the only way you can do it is through working that arm, which means putting it into that side of the brain, this side. <laughs> right? In fundamental form. That's all it is. And that becomes very simple. You know, everybody talks about the simplicity of music. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Right? some more. No, stop okay. talking so much. Because <laughs> that's what it is. And it's in every piece. doesn't matter if it's violin, cello, viola. makes no difference. It's exactly the same thing. Because that will give you the absolute ability to express yourself. Not somebody else's interpretation of what they think you should do. Because that's nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, that's not music making. Or oh, you can copy. Oh, I'd love to play La Chiasha. Believe me. Oh, would I love to play like that, but I can't. All right, so I found my own way, and I'm still looking for it all the time. And how do I do it? By getting up in the morning and doing that fundamental. Yeah, I'll get there one day, maybe. <laughs> Seriously, I mean that. I mean that really, because that sincerity of making music. Because otherwise, to me, it doesn't mean anything. If we, if we cannot divide it up and then put it back together, there's no point in making music. Because then it's, it's, I think that's an ego trip, rather than what it's supposed to be. Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Enough said. So, what's she going to do? She should start with Rode, number eight. I'll ask, I'll ask. You know this?
bow. Hold the bow with the right hand. Hold it. There you go. That's right. You should be able to do this one, by the way. Just like that. Okay? Yeah. You don't need your left hand. Your left hand is to play. The notes. <laughs>